Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be talking through my December favorites. I didn't do a favorites video last month because everything was all up in the air after my month off in October and I had all the book stuff going on and I think it's like the first time ever that I missed favorites, but I just thought I would leave it until December and do one big old favorites now. So I've got beauty, I've got home and I've got style. So let's start with the beauty stuff and the first one is proper random because it's a hand soap, but I don't think I've ever loved a hand wash so much. I do love my Aesop one, but this is from Soper Duper and it's the super juicy passion fruit hand wash. I thought this was grapefruit for so long until I actually read it, but I'm not even joking. We used this when we, um, I saved it until we were moving. And then as soon as we came into this house, I put it in the kitchen and I remember using it on like moving day. Oh my God, I've never smelled anything so strong and delicious in my whole life. Like every time I wash my hands, this just makes me happy. And everyone comments on it when they use it. It's so great. Um, if you love like a zingy, fresh, fruity scent, which I do like in a hand wash because it makes me feel clean, this is amazing. I really love it. Sorry if the light goes in and out, by the way. I'm just using my vlogging camera and natural light, but I prefer it. The next product is from Therapy, which is a brand I love from Michelle Rocco Neal. This is the Slumber Pillow Spray. I didn't know that she did pillow sprays. I think Cult Beauty sent this to me, and oh my God, I love it. I think there's a few different ones, actually. This one smells, one minute. Oh, it just smells like beautiful essential oils. It smells like the best bath you've ever had in your life. And it's quite different actually to the This Works one, which I do love, it's my favorite one, but they're quite different, which makes me feel like I can have one of each. And it's in a really nice glass bottle that looks really pretty on your bedside table. I don't know, I'd like to say it's been helping me sleep. I actually think I've been sleeping so well in this new house, I'm not sure why. I actually really don't even like our bedroom, but I'm sleeping really well. Maybe it's quieter or maybe the, the blackout blinds. I don't really know, but maybe this is helping too. I've fallen back in love with the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. And this is because a friend of mine who's not at all like in this world says that she uses this every day. And I thought, God, I used to love that years ago. And I know I have one just like in one of my drawers somewhere. So I kind of got it out and started using it and I've been using it every day. And it's so nice to give a really nice glow to your skin, like under your foundation. You can definitely just wear this alone as well. But I still think this is one of the best like radiance primers that there is. And I love that it comes in a tube. So I've been using that every day for the last like two months. I wasn't sure if I'd mentioned this anywhere yet because I'm completely obsessed with it. I think I just mentioned it on Instagram stories. It's a by Terry blusher. It's her Compact Expert Dual Powder in number seven, Sun Desire. And this is the only blusher I've been using for the past two to three months. It's got this slightly browny kind of pink around the edge and then a more corally pink in the middle. I just swirl them together and I feel like it gives me quite an obvious blush, which I like because my blush is always the first thing that disappears off my face throughout the day. So this one really lasts and I think it gives a really nice kind of fresh rosy glow. It goes really well with my bronzer as well and it's, it's got such a nice pigment to it. It's really great quality. I'm just loving by Terry products in general at the moment. I'm still obsessed with the concealer, which I think I mentioned in the last favorites video that I did. Two more beauty bits and they're both candles. First one is the Over Rose candle in Valkyria. Now this one obviously hasn't been lit, but I have two. I bought one for myself and then Anna bought this for me as part of like a moving in present. She actually bought me a really, really nice moving in present with all different things. But anyway, this is one of them. She was like, I'm so sorry. I've just seen when you took me up to your bedroom that you've already got one. I was like, don't be sorry. This is my favorite candle ever. It's so, oh, I can't remember what's in it, I always forget, but I think it's fig and peach, which is a really unique combination. And it, it's just such a gorgeous, fresh, uplifting scent. I also love the kind of matte pink packaging and that the actual wax itself is pink. I got mine from Cezanne, but I'm pretty sure Over Rose is its own brand, so you can buy it in other places. I'll try and link it down below, but these candles are incredible. And then another candle, I could not mention this. I pretty much finished this last night. There's a tiny bit left, but this is the Space and K Shimmering Spice. I get it every year. I don't even like cinnamon or clove or anything like that, but for some reason, this candle I really love. It just reminds me of festive Christmas shenanigans. Oh, it's so good. It really kind of fills the room with a Christmassy scent. And I really liked this year's packaging. Everyone's going very colorful this year. Jo Malone, Space NK. Okay, so that's all the beauty stuff done. Now onto style. I've been obsessed with this next jumper that I'm wearing now. I've got it in a cream. It's got these little kind of baubles on. It's really soft and cozy. Sometimes I find when you buy jumpers from a slightly more affordable brand, the quality isn't as good, but I find with Nex, the quality is so great. These jumpers are really soft, especially. I also have it in the red, which I really love. It's just so festive. I really like the subtle kind of Christmassy 
bauble type thing but it's not obvious it's just subtle it's like a subtle christmas jumper anyway i've been wearing them like around the house when i go out it's just an easy thing to throw on top of a t-shirt so cozy comfortable also it's not too long and it's not too cropped it just kind of sits at the perfect place just above my jeans also i've just been so obsessed with this i did a job with the white company and i wasn't expecting to get anything but at the end of the job um i was wearing this jumper for the photo and she said oh would you like to keep the jumper i was like oh my gosh yes please i would love to keep this it is a cashmere oh i just love cashmere cashmere white company jumper white with this like breton stripe i love stripes and i've never had a cashmere stripes jumper and i'm not sure this is something i would have bought on my own just because it's quite a splurge so i'm really really grateful that they gave this to me i need to buy one of those cashmere combs because i find that some of my cashmere jumpers are going a little bit bobbly and i think white company sells one and you kind of like brush it over the bobbles and it kind of shaves them off maybe i really need to look into that also i'm pretty sure anna did a blog post on like how to look after your cashmere i need to i need to read that i've just remembered that i've left one of my favorites upstairs in my bedroom and i'm feeling super lazy and i can't be bothered to go upstairs i have been obsessed with my Cezanne leather bucket bag so obsessed that i'm genuinely considering buying it in black because i want one that goes with every outfit because the one i have is navy which i really really like it's a real leather bucket bag so it's quite like stiff because it's leather but it's the perfect size for when I want to go out and take all my stuff, including my Fujifilm X-T2 camera, which I love to take out for like Instagram photos and stuff. So it's the perfect size. Um, I don't have many handbags that fit a camera in it, like a big camera. I think it looks really smart. It's really comfortable to wear either cross body or just on your shoulder. And I really, really love it. I'm just obsessed with Cezanne in general, everything they do. I missed out on the boy shirt. I really want one of their boy shirts. Okay, home stuff. We haven't bought that much stuff for the home yet. I'm gonna do a video in the new year on our kind of house renovation plans and everything will become very clear then. But we've been getting lots of like Ikea bits just for in the meantime. But some things I've really been enjoying, um, first of which are these Aldi lamps, which I'm gonna insert like a video clip of. I saw them on Mother of Daughters Instagram and Erica Davies. Everyone seems to be talking about them and for good reason because they are 20 pounds. They've got this like amazing marble base and then it's like a kind of metal, steel, whatever kind of bit. Oh, it's really hard to explain. And it's like exposed light bulb and it comes with the bulb. So the table lamp's 20 pounds and then they've got a floor lamp version for 30 pounds, which is just such a bargain. You can get exactly the same thing in other companies for like 150 pounds. So I was so excited when I saw those, ordered some straight away. They come in black or rose gold. They were sold out of the rose gold, which I wanted for my bedroom. So I got them in black and I really like them. My sister's got one, everyone's getting them. They are so great. So really happy with that purchase. Also my Ikea plant basket. I went to Ikea to get some other bits. I obviously got a plant whilst I was there. And then I saw that they have this like plant basket, which is really on trend at the moment. It's really affordable. It's lined inside so that if it gets water in it it doesn't kind of seep through the basket and i just think it looks really expensive and really nice so i'm really happy with that purchase as well and then finally this h&m vase which i just saw when i was in h&m home looking for some other bits and i thought that looks really expensive as well i really love the color it's like the same color as my nails i love the texture on it it's kind of that like artichoke trend um and it's also the perfect size i like to kind of cut the stems of flowers so they're quite short and then put them in a small vase i think that looks really nice and kind of compact sometimes a big like floral arrangement i think is a bit much so i really love the kind of smaller but medium sized vases i never understand the ones where they've got a really tiny opening i'm like what can you even put in that this one's got a really decent opening at the top so you can put like a whole bunch of flowers in i had yellow tulips in it and it worked really nicely with the blue so so that is everything for my December favourites, last favourites of the year, which is crazy, but I'm I'm very excited for 2018. I've got my book launch. If you haven't yet seen my book announcement video, please go and watch that. And thank you to everyone who's pre-ordered the book so far. It's really made me very excited for the year ahead. Me and Anna are probably going to do podcast season two, hopefully. There's just so much exciting stuff coming up and lots of house related things i really hope that we get to do the house up in 2018 that's going to be hopefully my main focus so have a really great new year everybody be safe be happy and i will see you in 2018 same old me not much is changing and thank you for watching my videos all year see you soon bye